Hi, I'm Damien from Codefights. In this video, we will compare arrays and linked lists. If you haven't seen our video on arrays yet, I suggest you watch that before watching this video. Linked lists and arrays are both data structures used to store information. Let's see how they differ. We'll start by looking at some of the weaknesses of arrays. Here we see an array with two elements. The difficulty with an array is if we want to add something to it, we're kind of limited. There's no extra space for our information. Adding elements to an array is a somewhat cumbersome process of reserving space for the larger array, making the new array, copying the old elements into the new array, getting rid of the old array, and the space allocated to it. Finally, after doing all of that, we can put the new elements into the new array. Let's see how a linked list solves this problem. The fundamental object in a linked list is a node, which we will represent by these dishes. A node is a larger object as it contains two pieces of information. First, there is a place to store the data, which is here. Then, there is a next pointer or a next reference to the next node in the linked list. At the moment, this is the only node in our linked list. To indicate that, the next pointer goes to a special location in memory called null. In order to access our linked list, we need a reference to the first node. This reference is called the head pointer. We now have a linked list with one object in it. Now let's see how we would add a new node to this linked list. We would start by creating a new node by placing it in memory, then putting the information in it. This new node is now the end of our linked list, so its next pointer is going to point to null. Now we need to be able to say, after this node comes the second node. To do that, we eliminate the yellow node's next pointer and join these two nodes directly. Let's create another node. We create the new node, copy the information into it, indicate this is going to be the end of the linked list, and then we delete the next pointer from the second node, and we have it point to our third node. You can add more nodes in the same way. With our linked list, we can scatter the nodes across the computer's memory. Whereas for an array, we have to find enough space to fit the entire array. We can't split it up. Also notice, while adding a new node to the linked list, we didn't have to move any of our existing nodes. The only thing we had to do was move the arrows around. That's the big advantage of a linked list over an array. Arrays have their advantages as well. For example, if we wanted to access the third element of our array, because we know what size each box is, we know exactly where the third element is. If we wanted to find the third element in our linked list, we would have to start at the head and count 1, 2, 3, to show this black element is the third element. So if we want to be able to access a given memory location multiple times, an array is a better choice. If we want to be able to add and remove elements, the linked list is superior. To show some other properties of linked lists, let's say we wanted this node with the black marble to be the last element in our linked list, and we wanted this node with the blue marble to be the third node. We can accomplish this without moving any of the nodes in memory, we just have to move the arrows. If we get rid of this arrow, and replace it with this arrow to the blue node, we need to indicate the black node is the end of our linked list, so we set its next pointer to null. Finally, we change the blue node's next pointer so it points to the black node. The last thing we're going to look at is how to delete a node. Since we have two blue nodes in our linked list, we'll delete one of them. Let's delete the third node. We would start by changing this pointer to point to the black node here. Now notice we have one, two, three nodes, and this points to null. Some programming languages will detect there is no way of accessing this node. Nothing points to it, even though something points away from it, and will delete the node for you. In other languages, you'll have to deallocate this memory yourself. Head on over to Codefights Interview Practice for more information about linked lists and to practice solving real interview questions about them.